some fall snacks in the cafe. Uh, we've got a fire pit and some cornhole out in the parking lot. Put some uh, cones up so the kids want to run around and get crazy out there. You can. Uh, and don't get worried about getting run over. So if you are leaving, please don't cross the cones and take out a small child or something. Or a large child, as the case may be. Uh, thank you for being here. A little something different for our 60th anniversary. Uh, if you don't typically come on a Wednesday night, we usually have Bible study in a classroom setting. Uh, this is our adult Bible class, and then we've got TPC kids and crew in the annex next door. So uh, glad all of you are here. My name's Scott. Let's worship the Lord. What do you say? Susie, go ahead. We stand and lift up our hands For the joy of the Lord is our strength You sound great. We bow down and worship Him now How great, how awesome is He and together we sing, holy is the Lord God Almighty. The earth is filled with his glory. Holy is the Lord God Almighty. The earth is filled with his glory. We stand and lift up our hands, for the joy of the Lord is our strength. We bow down and worship him now. How great, how awesome is he, and together we sing, everyone sing. Holy is the Lord God Almighty. The earth is filled with his glory. Holy is the Lord God Almighty. The earth is filled with his glory. Sing, it's rising. It's rising up all around. It's the anthem of the Lord's renown, it's rising up all around. It's the anthem of our Lord's renown. Together we sing. Yes, everyone sing. Holy is the Lord. God Almighty, the earth is filled with his glory. Holy is the Lord, God Almighty, the earth is filled with his glory. Yes, the earth is filled with his glory. Thank you, Jesus. Can we just worship the Lord together? That's why we're here tonight. Lord, we thank you today for your great glory, your majesty, Lord, your mercy in our lives. Lord, you are all that we need. You're everything that we desire. We love you, Lord. We worship you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. So let's go to the Lord in prayer. Uh, we've got a few needs that I know of that we need to pray for. Uh, we've got uh, Carol Lucas's uh, granddaughter. Her name is Brianna, lives in Iowa. She used to go to our church many, many years ago as a small child. Um, for some reason, uh, she has disappeared. Um, there's some concern about self-harm, and she's asking that the Lord would find her and make that, uh, bring that, that family back together. They did find her. Okay. All right. Good. Thank you for letting me know. So let's pray for this family. The Lord knows what this family's dealing with today. 
And so we want the Lord to minister to this family. A very, very um, tragic situation, it sounds like. Uh, so let's pray for Brianna's family, the Lucas family. Somebody else have a prayer request tonight. You lift up your hand, I'll pray for you. All right. Somebody else. Susie, do we have anything on the list? No? Okay. Why don't we stand together? And let's ask the Lord to bless the rest of our time together. And this evening, let's pray specifically for Carol and for the Lucas family. Ask the Lord to minister to them. Lord, we thank you today for your good work in this church. Lord, in this community, in our lives. Lord, we thank you for your peace, your blessing upon us. Lord, we thank you for being with us here tonight. You see uh, our needs. You see every person and what we have brought before you today. Lord, each one of us have family members. Each one of us have situations that are concerning to us. Lord, I thank you for providing uh, wisdom, mercy. Lord, financial blessings where they're necessary. Provision, Lord, where that's necessary. You know what we need because you are so wise. Lord, we commit Carol and her family into your hands. Lord, you see what has happened in this family. Lord, it's a very tragic situation. We don't understand the, the hopelessness that Brianna must have felt. I pray, Lord, that you'd minister to their grief. Lord, surround this family with your peace. Lord, we thank you for going to them today and speaking the words that we cannot. Lord, I thank you for blessing the rest of our time together. You know what we need today. Thank you for going to Pastor Dustin. Lord, you see the service that's happening at MCC tonight. Lord, be with those men. Lord, let your spirit be poured out. Lord, I thank you for touching someone's life. Lord, showing them that you love them. Regardless of their past, you have a great future in mind for them. I thank you for your good work in this house today in our community, in Jesus' name. Somebody say amen. 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 Look around, fist bump somebody, give them a high five. Tell them you're glad to see them in the house because you are glad to see them here. Amen. We've got a couple of seats up here in the front or grab a couple in the back as you like. You may be seated. So now you... You guys know that I don't usually do this. This is not, uh, this hasn't been, I should say, a regular occurrence for me to lead worship. So don't leave me hanging up here, all right? Troy, thank you for helping us out tonight. When the music fades and all is stripped away, and I simply come Longing just to bring Something that's of worth Lord, we want to bless you tonight I'll bring you more than a song For a song in itself is not what you have required. Much deeper within to the way things appear, you're moving into my heart. I'm coming back to the heart of worship, and it's all about you. It's all about you, Jesus, for the thing I've made it, when it's all about you, it's all about you, Jesus. Sing King of Endless Worth, King of Endless Worth, no one could express how much you deserve, Lord. Though I'm weak and poor, every breath, I'll bring you more than a song, for a song in itself is not what you have required. 
You search much deeper within Through the way things appear You're looking into my heart Sing it to him today I'm coming back to heart of worship It's all about you it's all about you, Jesus. I'm sorry, Lord, the thing I made it when it's all about you. Yes, it's all about you, Jesus. I'm coming back, heart of worship, when it's all about you. Lord, it's all about you, Jesus. I'm sorry, Lord, for the thing I made it when it's all about you. It's all about you, Jesus. When the music fades and all is stripped away, and I simply come Longing just to bring Something that's of worth That will bless your heart I'll bring you more than a song For a song in itself is not what you have required. You search much deeper within through the way things appear. You're looking, Lord, search our hearts tonight. I'm coming back to the heart of worship when it's all about you. It's all I'm sorry, Lord, for the thing I've made it when it's all about you. It's all about you, Jesus. Can you just tell the Lord how grateful you are for his forgiveness in your life? Lord, I thank you for forgiving us of our sins, washing us and making us new and clean. Lord, whatever it is in our lives, I'm so thankful that we can call on your name. Lord, your blood will wash us and make us new again. Lord, we want our hearts to worship you and to glorify you, Jesus, to give you all the honor, all the glory. Lord, I thank you for creating in us clean hearts renewing in us right spirits. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. Amen. Over the mountains and the streams, my spirit runs and runs. I'm so lost right now. No idea where I am. Somebody help me out. And he will daily lead me in something else. But we're going to sing of his love. How about that? I'll sing of your love forever. I could sing of your love forever. I could sing of your love forever. I could sing of your love forever. Let's try that verse one again. Over the mountains and the sea, your river runs with love for me, and I will open up my heart. Spirit, lead me free. I'm happy to be in the truth. And I will daily lift my hands. Always sing of when your love came down. I could sing of your love forever. I could sing of your love forever. I could sing of your love forever. 
I could sing of your love forever. I could sing of your love forever. I could sing of your love forever. I could sing of your love. Yes, I can. I could sing of your love forever. And we're going to just let that one go. <laughs> Aren't you thankful for God's love tonight? Amen. 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 Thanks for helping me out tonight. Thank you, Jesus. Sing, Worthy is the Lamb. Worthy is the Lamb who was slain. Holy, holy is He. Sing a new song for Him who sits on heaven's mercy seat. Sing, Holy, holy, holy. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty, who was and is and is to come. With all creation I sing praise to the King of kings. You are my everything, and I will adore you. Sing holy, holy again. Lord, you're worthy of our praise tonight. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty, who was and is and is to come. With all creation I sing praise to the King of kings. You are my everything, and I will adore you. Lord, we adore you tonight. Clothed with rainbows of living color. Flashes of lightning, rolls of thunder. Blessing and honor, strength and glory and power be to you, the only wise King. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty who was and is and is to come. With all creation I sing praise to the King of kings. You are my everything, and I will adore you. Thank you, Jesus. We worship you, Jesus. Filled with wonder, awestruck wonder at the mention of your name. Jesus, your name is power, breath and living water, such a marvelous mystery. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty, who was and is and is to come. With all creation I sing praise to the King of kings. You are my everything, and I will adore you. Spend a little time talking to the Lord right now. 
Lord, you're so good to us. Lord, we have found all of our peace, all of our hope. Lord, all of our strength is in you, Jesus. I thank you for your great work in our lives, your grace, your mercy. So amazing, Lord. So wonderful, Jesus. How we love you today. How we worship you today, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You may be seated. Do we want to try Amazing Grace? Sinking and swimming over here, Jonathan. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found was blind but now I see my chains are gone I've been set free my God my Savior has ransomed me and like a flood his mercy reigns Unending love, amazing grace. The Lord has promised good to me. His word, my hope secures. He will my shield and portion be as long as life endures my chains are gone i've been set free my god my savior has ransomed me and like a flood his mercy reigns, unending love, amazing grace, unending love. Aren't you thankful for his amazing grace today? Amen. 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 I want to take you to the word of the Lord for a little bit tonight. And uh, we're going to go to Second Chronicles. We've got uh, all different ages here, different uh, wavelengths, so to speak, scripturally. I want to talk to you a little bit about a incident, pretty impactful experience in the life of the children of Israel. Second Chronicles chapter 7, verse 12, goes like this. The Lord appeared to Solomon by night and said to him, I've heard your prayer. And have chosen this place for myself as a house of sacrifice. When I shut up heaven and there is no rain or command the locusts to devour the land and send pestilence among my people, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven, forgive their sin and heal their land. Now my eyes will be open, my ears attentive to the prayer in this place. For now I have chosen and sanctified this house, that my name will be here forever. My eyes and my heart will be there perpetually. Amen. We've been in this community for 60 years. We've been in this building since the early 80s, I believe it was. I'm grateful that while these four walls have held us together and have given us a space to congregate, that we are no longer bound in the New Testament church by what Solomon had built. Because what 
The Lord was saying to Solomon in that very ancient time, thousands of years ago, was that I will live in this space. I will occupy this house. And of course, we know in the New Testament that he no longer lives in a temple made with hands like Solomon created or Pastor LaRue built many years ago. But it's within us. We are his temple. I want to focus on something specific that the Lord said in this chapter. He said, if, then. If, then. If you've done any kind of computer programming, you know. If I put in this code, I'm expecting this to happen. I'm going to ask for a query and then receive this information. Whenever we have the law of physics... If you run into something that's bigger than you, you will stop. If, then. There are ifs and then there are thens. Because for every action there is a, there is a reaction. And the Lord is very much about the ifs and the thens. He's very much about what he has said and then what we do as a result of it. The dedication of, God, of Solomon's temple for the Lord. It was an amazing place. 150,000 people working on this thing day and night. 88 and a half feet long, 29 feet wide and changed, 29 feet tall. It was a big place. It was a, a beautiful place. It was wrapped in gold. It was it. It was the epitome of what Solomon and all of his riches and all of his physical glory could come up with to celebrate who the Lord was. Dedication of that temple. He sacrificed 22,000 cattle, 120,000 sheep and goats. There were 14 days of worship. The scripture says that it spanned from what is Lebanon, this Lebanon-Syrian border now all the way down to Egypt. The entire country for 14 days was just one giant party. It was big. And the scripture says at the end of it, everybody left happy. Now, this is the way you want to leave church. Everybody was full of joy. Everybody was happy with what they had experienced. And this is exactly the way it should be when you are in the presence of the Lord. You should leave changed. You should leave different. Now, I'm, I'm supposed to be teaching now. I've got enough of an audience. I want to preach. <laughs> you should be different whenever you walk into the parking lot and leave the presence of the Lord in a service that we've had. Full of joy. Full of hope. All of that worship, all of those acts of, of dedication was equaled by a similarly incredible move of God. If you're not familiar with the story, the scripture says that the, the priests, the, the, the people who were supposed to be working in the temple could not do their job because the presence of God came in like a cloud. It was like a fog just filled the entire space. It was amazing. May we experience something like that. Just an amazing move of God that just rocks our world. God tells Solomon... I've chosen, I've sanctified this house that my name will be here forever. My heart, my eyes will be here perpetually. This is his house. And today I'm telling you, you can make his house happen anywhere. In your bedroom. My wife, God bless her, at age of 17, received the Holy Ghost in her bedroom, laying, just kneeling at her bed. You don't have to have a powerful move of God just in this space. You can create this atmosphere anywhere that you are. Over 1,500 times this if shows up, but we're going to focus just on John's gospel for the next few minutes. Jesus said in John chapter 8, verse 31, if you hold on to my teachings, you're going to be my disciples. If you listen to what I'm talking about, then you're going to show up as a disciple. 51, I tell you the truth, if you keep my word, you'll never see death. That kind of confused some people. They're like, what do you mean? What are you talking about? We're going to live forever? They were very focused on the physical. You show up on Wednesday nights, we talk a lot about the spiritual, how it mirrors the physical. No, you're not going to live forever physically, but you will live eternally 
in a hope of glory. John goes on in, in chapter 11, verse 40, Jesus says, Did I not tell you if you believed you would see the glory of God? If then, if then, by all this, men will know that you're my disciples. What? If then. 15 and 7. If you remain in me, my re words remain in you. Ask whatever you wish, and it shall be given to you. Faith. Some of you know it's one of my favorite subjects. Hebrews 11 and 6. If you believe that God is, this is the baseline. And then you move on from there. You will eventually find that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. But first you have to believe that he is. First you have to have faith in him. And that faith is so vital to where you are in the work of the kingdom. Paul, in 1 Corinthians is dealing with some pretty bad stuff, some bad messaging that's happening. If you've dealt with any kind of public relations people, you know they have a message. They're going to spin something. They're going to twist it. They're going to tell you the best thing that is about them or their product or their person, whatever the case may be. And there was some bad messaging going on in Corinth. And Paul says, verse 12 of 15, but if it's preached that Christ has been raised from the dead, how can some of you say there's no re resurrection of the dead? If there's no resurrection of the dead, then why even preach that Christ is raised from the dead? And if Christ has not been raised, then your preaching is useless, and so is your faith. He's asking about your faith. What, is your, what kind of a faith do you have? And of course, the answer to Paul's question is, he was raised from the dead. You have put your faith in something strong, something that is real. And yes, we are as well. If you can believe that the blood of Jesus washes away sin in this baptismal, as we call in the name of Jesus in burial, then how much more, if you can believe in the, 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 the miracle of forgiveness, if you can believe in the miracle of repentance, how much more can the Lord do with that faith? If you start with just that, Lord, I'm thankful that you've forgiven me. I have faith that you've washed my sins away. Then, well, you can have faith for something big. Luke 17 and 6, Jesus talking to his disciples, he says, if you have faith as small as a mustard seed, you can say to this mulberry tree, get up, you go over there. And I can tell you, there's been some trees that I wish I could have done exactly that to. I did not have faith strong enough to say, I'd like to redo this landscaping. If you could just take all of that mulch and put it over there. He's making a point here. How, it doesn't require a massive amount of faith to get the job done. But if you do have something big in your life, don't worry, he's got something for you. Matthew 17 and 20, the disciples were dealing with a very difficult situation and, and it, it, they could not make it happen. They couldn't get it resolved. And isn't that the way some of us are? We got situations we can't deal with. It's too big for me. I, I, I thought I had the answer and stuff's hard. Jesus says in verse 20, you have so little faith. That's why you're in the situation you're in. But I tell you the truth. If you have faith as small as a mustard seed, you can move big things. You can deal with big stuff, not just the little things in life. Speak to the mountain. Move from here to there. Nothing is impossible for you. The beautiful part about the if-then statements is that when we get close to Jesus... The closer we get, the more we understand how important the then is. Romans chapter 8, 31, if God is for us. If, then, who, what 
nothing can come against us that doesn't go through his hand and we can trust him. If it goes through your hand, it's for my benefit. If it goes through your hand, it's for my good. I'm trusting you, Lord, to do what is right in my life. So what do you need from the Lord today? If you came to the Lord, then what would you ask? You need salvation? You're in the right place. Hunger and thirst, he promises, you'll be filled. You need healing? He said it himself. The spirit of the Lord is upon me, he said. I've come to preach the gospel, heal the brokenhearted, proclaim liberty to captives and recovery of sight to the blind. I have healing in my hand, he says. You need something changed in your life and your family. Let's go back to 2 Chronicles chapter 7. If you're one of his, called by his name, you can call on his name. Humble yourself, pray, seek him. He'll hear you. If you will call on him, he is faithful and just to forgive, to heal, to restore. Aren't you thankful today that the Lord has not left us comfortless? Aren't you thankful today that the Lord hasn't left us alone, pitiful in our own situation? I'm grateful that the Lord knows us and is capable of ministering to us. Troy, let's try one more song. I'm grateful you guys showed up tonight. Look at your other neighbor, the one behind you. I love this part right here. I'm so glad you're here tonight. Great are you, Lord? Uh, we can do that, yeah. Is, it, is that what it is? Yeah, okay. Hang on, hang on just a second. Let me pull it up here. I have a maker he knows my heart he formed my heart before even time began my life was in his hand he knows my name He knows my every thought. He sees each tear that falls. And he hears me when I call. He hears me when I call. I have a father. I have a father. He calls me his own. He never leave me, no matter where I go. He knows my name. He knows my name. He knows my every thought. He sees each tear that falls, and he hears me when I call. He hears me when I call. Sing, I have a maker. I have a maker. He formed my heart. 
Before even time began, my life was in his hands. He knows my name. He knows my every thought. And he sees each tear that falls and he hears me when I call he hears me when I call Lord I thank you for being with us today Lord in this house I thank you for ministering to us Lord that your word would be a seed planted in our lives or to bring forth good fruit in its season Lord, I thank you that you know our name and you know our lives, you know our future. You've already been to the end of us. Lord, we thank you for your peace and your blessing upon us. Lord, be with us the rest of this evening, the rest of this week. I thank you for bringing us back together this weekend. Lord, to worship you, to glorify you. We give you all the praise and the glory. Somebody say in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, amen.